this is Dr. Muthuswamy recording. It's around 23:30 hours Central Standard Time on Tuesday, April 29th. So right now I'm 3D printing a three-scroll unified chaotic system attractor. So here is the 3D trajectory from Mathematica that will be outputted. Uh, so excuse me, that will be output as in STL file format. On the right here, I have the current printing status from Repetier Host that is interfaced to my solid Doodle 2 $500 3D printer. I'm currently printing layer 38 of 339 and the ETA is around 1 hour and 16 minutes. The total time estimated was 1 hour and 40 minutes and the software is pretty accurate with estimating the time to print. The changes I did for this 3D print are I'm using the honeycomb pattern for the support structure with a 0.1 millimeter reduction in spacing that is the spacing is around 2.4 millimeters that's the second change the third change I did was I'm printing at a higher temperature the base layer was at 210 degrees Celsius the other layers are at 200 degrees Celsius so the 3d print looks like it's coming out well let's take a look at the current status of the print this is Dr. Muthuswamy recording. It's around 17.26 hours Central Standard Time on Sunday, May 4th. So we are almost done printing the, the 3D printing, the three-scroll unified chaotic system attractor. So what I actually did was I had a huge pause in it for like a few days on the 3D printer to continue. Uh, all I simply did was heated the extruder to 200 degrees Celsius and let the 3D printer continue. And lo and behold, it did continue, no problems. It actually took six hours to 3D print this. Uh, it's looking pretty good. So just uh, wrapping around if I can. Uh, right. So uh, anyway, this view is I guess sufficient. Again, this is my $500 3D printer at home. If you want, you can shell out an extra $2,000 and get the 2500 MakerBot Replicator 2. Basically, the advantages are a dual extruder, two nozzles, so one can be dissolvable filament, so you don't have to cut the scaffolding. And you also have a heated bed, so you don't have to put all this hairspray on there. So if you're willing to put enough hairspray and a good amount of raft layer or between the base and your part, and also willing to cut the scaffolding by hand, you will save around $2,000. But again, uh, these experiments are to test the feasibility of using these 21st century extrusion based 3D printers to 3D print chaotic attractors and as you can see they work very well. Of course you can use a um, upwards of $100,000 light uh, UV based, I'm sorry, stereolithography 3D printers and people are able to print chaotic attractors using such printers even in the late 20th century like MIT and Cornell have done it but again can you do this using off the shelf $500 solid doodle 3D printer and apparently you can <laughs>